Right, you know him as best as the star of the hugely popular Harry Potter film franchise. Now he returns to New York for a second time on Broadway. Please welcome Daniel Radcliffe. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you very much. Yes, happy St. Patrick's yeah. Day to everybody. Indeed. Daniel is now 21 years old. Yes. What oh a my career gosh. he has had. Lives here in New York City. Well, uh, I live in London. Oh, you live but, in London, but, 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 but I'm, I'm here currently. Here. I'm here yes, currently here. Yes. We are going to Absolutely. claim you as a New Yorker. That's very kind of you. I'm, I'm honoured. How would you um, compare New York City with London? Um, I, I mean, they're, they're kind of similar in that they're both really multicultural and there's loads going on and it's and there's sort of a great fun energy about the place. For me, it's different. I don't know why particularly, but, you know, I think New Yorkers uh, kind of don't like to seem too impressed by stuff, which is kind of great for me. So, like, when, you know, when I'm walking down the street, people tend to go, oh, okay. Now, the last Harry Potter film was at the absolute final film of the series well no we've got one there's one what the last the last last one comes oh, don't out in this, summer, right? and this summer in july oh yeah. what's that called so that's harry potter and the deathly hallows part two. Oh, mm. deathly um, hallows yeah. part two um it's yeah so that 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 is the last one gosh how many years of it. your life have you spent doing those films um it'll be it, well 10 essentially yeah 10 yeah and that's pretty much how long i've been coming on this show yeah. so I exactly. funny, right? yeah. and i have to say every year if it's possible and regis will agree you get lovelier and lovelier oh, you've geez. always been terrific Thank and you're you the, you, i mean you've really you've grown up so well oh that's very kind, that's very kind of you well you know i've got good parents and now of course and there, there you are on broadway yes, i mean gosh. where do you see yourself going for the next 10 years i mean i don't know hopefully just continuing to work as much as i can i mean i'll never be in anything with the kind of, you know, commercial success that Harry Potter has had, mm -hmm. but then again, neither will anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's way to look at it. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, but I kind of, you know, after this I just want to keep working, keep acting, sure. keep getting loved, and, you know, I do love being on Broadway. And That's being in that, in that film series has given you the freedom to be selective about what you do. Well, exactly, you know, I'm in a very fortunate position where I can, I can now pick and choose what I want to do. Well, I, I, mm. I've got a film coming out at the end of this year, uh, The Woman in Black, which is like a, a, a really, a, a gothic horror, which is mm. kind of, should be you don't play a vampire, do you? No, Please, no, 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 I'm, I'm, so I'm, sick I'm, and tired of vampires. <laughs> um, kind of, there's, there's a lot of other people that have kind of got that area covered, so and I'm how, gonna, uh, yeah. Um, well, let's go back and talk about Broadway, okay? Yeah. We'll see how you're doing. How does the show do this? On Broadway currently, and how to succeed a business, a great, great show. I loved the show years ago when I saw it with uh, Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick, yeah. yeah. And I love the scene, uh, uh, Daniel, where you're looking in the mirror. You know, yeah. you're a young guy, and you want to get to succeed in this business, and you sing that great song. Yeah, the love song to myself. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's uh, the songs I believe in you. It was a the 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 most kind of the, I suppose the most famous song from the show when it first yeah, came out in the absolutely. 60s and it's it's kind of always the big hit of the show do it's a little a, bit no you, you've got the cool <laughs> god you know the lies as well yes eyes of a seeker of wisdom and truth <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't make you pay for that. Anyway. Uh, but no, no, but, but, but it's good to know that if, if I'm ever off, I've got someone ready to oh, take oh, it. Oh, he's ready to come in. Just blow the whistle. Fantastic. So I didn't know you could sing. Yeah. When well, did no, that nor did anybody. Um, it was like, I mean, I... And I, we're still not convinced. I know, well, no, I, I still have done nothing on this show to prove it. But, um, but no, I, I've always loved singing. Um, I, I started having singing lessons... Um, on when I was doing Equus actually because I had to sing the Milky Bar theme tune mm. and I was getting the tune wrong which is a long way from that to then doing <laughs> my musical but um, I yeah I so I started having singing lessons around then I love my singing teacher he's a fantastic guy and uh, so I started working with him and I just loved it and so the singing was something that came you know, I had a voice which then put a lot of work into. The dancing, on the other hand, was something that I had no aptitude for whatsoever. Uh. Um, but through a lot of hard work with my fantastic uh, dance tutor, uh, Spencer Solomon, um, who is somewhere here. Um, but, um, he, he's amazing and he just drilled me and got me to a place it's where it's... It's so yeah. hard to do, to control your body in a way that makes it I look know. easy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. And I, especially when you're, like, surrounded by the most... 
talented Broadway seasoned yeah, dancers. But you've got it all bastard down. Well, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a it's it's a it's a yeah. really great fun show, and it's an it's an old school musical um, with great songs that you know are pretty kind of. Uh, all the characters are sort of irresistible in their own ways, um, and it's it's a. I, I think it's very very hard to leave the show right, without sure. a smile on your face. Oh sure, the show tunes. Show tunes are just great, aren't they? They're, they're fantastic. I mean, Frank Lesser's songs are, you know, absolutely, absolutely. brilliant. You sing them yeah. forever, and then and then on the way out of the show, you can always buy. I always stop and pick up the cast CD. Well, we haven't recorded that just yet, but you we're going to. Say, well, I know I have to. I, I, I think <laughs> I, I think I literally now. am contractually obliged <laughs> to. But it, like, it's, but yeah, no, I will be. We'll be recording it in uh, in April, so I guess it comes oh, out terrific. some shortly well, after listen, that. It's yeah. always great to have you on the show. You've been coming on for years. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. I have succeeded in business, but not really trying on Broadway at the Al Hirschfeld Center. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. Have a good point ahead. Coming up next from Blue Bluff. We'll be right back.